Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have brought you another paper squishy. Now, the reason that I'm making a paper squishy today is because I've received these new pens and I'm like, I have to try these out. And one thing that I do with my pens is do cute drawings and turn them into paper squishies. And I thought that this would be a great opportunity. So Arteza have gifted me this pack of pens. Really excited for it. They haven't paid me to talk about this. It's not an ad or anything like that. They just gifted me this and I'm doing a video of them to share a little review thought it would be fun um so yeah they look really really interesting they are water-based and blendable apparently and they are like double-ended which is something i love in my pens i thought that this might be a great like way to share some new pens with you guys because the ones i usually use are out of stock everywhere and i can't like give you anything to kind of recommend you use them because they're no longer in stock anywhere so i thought that these might be a bit of fun even more fun though i do have a 10 percent off code for arteza's website which i will leave down in the description as well put on screen right now just to save you a bit of money if you want to buy these if you do have any requests please do leave them down in the comments down below just in case you have a request for a paper squishy any other type of DIY my ears are open I see you I see all the comments of the paper squishy requests and I'm loving them so leave them down in the you know comments and I'll read them and maybe yours will be made too so yeah thank you so much for clicking on this video and I'm just gonna get stuck straight on into it so these are the pens that I have received from Arteza. They are the Twee markers and basically these are all the colours you get. So you get a whole load of pinky bubble ones, some greeny blue ones, some earthy tones and this one like I call Sunset. On the Twee markers they have got like the name of the pen and that sort of stuff. And then one end it has this really nice brush tip which is what I look for in a pen. So I was really happy to receive these because as you guys know I use like brush tip markers and I like them to have a fine line at the end and these ones tick all the boxes. So the brush tip works really, really nicely. No scratches, nothing like that. And then these are the fine liner tips on the other end. These work wonderfully as well. They feel much more... Um like of a higher quality than the ones I've been using previously so really really happy to have received these and as you can see they draw on really really nicely very true to the colour as on the other end and that is something that I love. So moving on to the paper squishy part of this video um, I used the colour, um, what was it called? I've got these pens right in front of me. I'm gonna find the exact one just in case you want to make it this one here yellow okra i used for this and i draw a circle and then just colored it all in spiral it around so that all of you know the like lines and stuff were running in the same direction i then cut that out and i left it so that it still had to fold on so that i was able to use the same color pen on the other side to color the edges i didn't bother coloring it all because there was no point it was going to be hidden anyway so i just color around the edges i also used the fine liner to add like some little textures onto it to make it look like it was like a cookie and then i used the color um brown it was a brown shade sienna brown to make little chocolate chips once i had done that i just set it aside just to dry down and everything and then on another piece of paper i used a whole bunch of colors to draw out these sprinkles along one strip i cut this strip out and made sure that it was like the same size either side then i just taped it together to make this ring what I then did was I went around the ring with a little pencil, cut out those two circles and then on them I used a whole bunch of colours again just to create the sprinkles. I was using the brush side to make the sprinkles and it worked out so nice. Like honestly these glide on the paper, very happy with them. I know some brush tips can sometimes be like a bit scratchy and that's not what I like at all. I like smooth brush pens which is why I always choose like a brush tip over a kind of felt tip type thing and these ones here they just work great very happy to have received them so once i had done all the sprinkles on those pieces as well i just went in and taped one side at a time going around the ring with tiny bits of tape just to kind of attach them once i had it all attached and i had like a little hole left on one side i just stuffed that shape with some toy stuffing and some scraps of foam just from making my memory foam squishies i then taped that up shut going back to the cookie pieces i actually had two of these by the way um, I just taped over one side and then wrapped the tape around the other so that it would encase that bit where I didn't draw in the middle and I did this all the way around just ignoring that bit with the fold I then cut the bit the fold off and then stuffed that shape up as well with toy stuffing and bits of memory foam and then I just taped that up so that I was left with one side of the cookie 
once I had completed both sides and then took some hot glue and hot glued all the way around the edge of like the inside of the cookie color and then I did the same on the other side just sticking that kind of ice cream sprinkle bit in the center to make the ice cream center part. I then added a cute kawaii face to the kind of squishy. So this squishy has been requested a bunch of times so I'll put a bunch of comments on screen now just in case you want to request a squishy in the future please know that I will give you a little shout out on there if I do end up making it and um yeah there's that. So this is how the squishy has turned out really really like it can't believe how well it's come out the lines in this squishy is not so prominent as compared to like some other pens i've used and to be honest as always the squishiness of it has turned out great so if you do end up making this then be sure to tag me on instagram um just at Chelsea DIY. I will leave the link and everything down in the description for you to check out. I will also leave obviously the links to all of the pens down in the description so you can check them as out as well. I will also leave a um, coupon code so you can get some money off just in case you want to create these as well. And obviously I'll leave the kind of main colours that I used for this just in case you want to recreate it with the pens then you can do so using the exact same ones I did. So thank you so much to Arteza for gifting me these pens. I actually really really like them. I'm going to be using them from now onwards. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye! <laughs>